guys, Mike here. Today I got another stock for you guys that I have been recently building up my position in and that stock is another SPAC stock and that stock is of course none other than Gore's Holdings ticker symbol GHIV. Soon, actually very, very soon, this month, January 20th, they have their merger vote and ticker will change if the merger goes through on January 22nd. So it's extremely soon and that company is none other than United Wholesale Mortgages. Ticker symbol will change to UWM if the uh, merger does get approved and goes through which it's most likely to do so because Gores has been very successful in their uh, mergers with their SPACs like Laser. Well, I'm sure you guys know of that one. Anyway, so what's going on is I'm going to go over all the details you guys need to know about this company, the merger. And this stock is like another stock that I have talked about very uh, often in this channel and that stock is Rocket Mortgages which I still have a pretty big heavy position in ticker symbol RKT and it's like another version of Rocket Mortgages they do mortgages for different kind of types of people and that's what I like about these long-term bank uh, type of loan companies they do provide services to a lot of people customers and they have possible uh, future growth and with this company if you're in dividends this company will soon be paying a dividend as well so this could be another dividend company you might want to add to your portfolio anyways in this video i'm going to go over all the technical analysis the charts where i think the stock might be headed where you guys should start be buying and i'm going to go over any other detail that i can help provide you guys with this company and help you decide whether you would like to invest in it or not of course always the decision is up to you and we're gonna do all of that also this guy guys this video is sponsored by nobody but if you guys want four free stocks right now Webull gives four free stocks one for just signing up to use their platform and four three additional more stocks when you make a deposit of a hundred dollars or more and we will, will give you four stocks with a minimum value of $8 all the way up to $1,600. So check out the link in the description below if you guys want four free stocks for Weeble. Anyways, with that said, let's waste no further time. Make sure you guys always smash that like button, hit subscribe. It really helps out my channel. So with that said, let's begin. Yeah. All right, guys, let's check out what's going on with Gore's Holdings, ticker symbol GHIV, soon to be merging with united wholesale mortgages ticker symbol will change to uwm actually within the next two weeks on january 20th is the merger date that they're going to be voting on and once this merger does go through january 22nd is what the, the stock change will happen and everything will trade under the uwm ticker symbol united wholesale mortgages so anyways with that so let's continue um as you guys can see uh gores started moving up on an uptrend hit around 14 15 bucks and then it started moving back down because i guess the, a little bit of the hype died down but now that we're getting a lot closer to the merger date it has been continuously going on a backup uptrend um rsi slowed down a little bit everything started to cross over and we're back on a uptrend which is pretty good uh, i think we're gonna continue going up now where do i see this going to be honest with you i think somewhere between 15 to 20 dollars i think is the max this stock can go to this stock is just like kind of like rocket mortgages ticker symbol rkt if you want to check that out they this company has raised well over 425 million dollars just in their ipo and also another 500 million in their private placement and once the merger does go through the spac deal does complete the company will be worth about a 16 billion dollar market cap once the uh, all the spac and merger is completed and they have announced that they will be paying a 3.5 percent dividend yield so that could be pretty good for a lot of you guys who are dividend investors and planning on holding this company for long term i don't think it's a bad idea for a 12 13 dollar stock with a 3.5 percent dividend is actually not a bad idea especially if this company could be like a growth stock kind of uh, i don't know when you do dividends it makes it a lot harder to be a growth company uh just even just looking at rocket mortgage right now with the uh, rates going really low it, it's it makes it really hard for them to grow as well you know like 
a lot of banks started to actually move up in in price but still these rocket mortgages aren't able to pull up you know like no matter how hard they're trying they're trying to do share back buybacks they still can't push this company up they did start it to recently move up i think if it does continue, it'll probably hit around $22.80 max again and start dying right back down. But anyways, let's go back to GHIV. I think this company is going to be another representative of Rocket Mortgages. I do not expect it to go above $20 uh, per share. If it does, that would be pretty much wonderful. Who wouldn't want free money like that? I wouldn't want it. For me, this is a very short-term trade all the way up to the merger date. Uh, i just saying um, I don't have too much uh i don't think that there's too much upside with this company besides the 20 dollar target range and i think 15 dollars to 20 is a pretty reasonable price for this company so i think right now is pretty much cheap on friday they did go up after hours to around 13 dollars and 10 20 cents somewhere around there so i think this company still is on an uptrend i think it'll continue going uptrend from here not a lot don't expect it to move up a couple dollars every single day from here until merger day but i do expect it to start rising in price from here on and until the merger day uh, until january 20th it could die a day Day or two before the merger so be on a lookout stay cautious uh, maybe you need to start setting up stop losses for this company um, I would encourage it on this company especially if you're just doing a swing trade or short-term trade like me uh, stop losses might be very useful for this one because we don't know how high the potential of this is especially if it's I'm only targeting 15 to 20 bucks and it I don't know. It's going to be a lot harder to, to trade this because we don't know how hard this goes because, as you can see, Rocket Mortgages only died around $20 right now. It did go all the way up to around $36 plus and then right back down to $20. Bucks. So I think this company has somewhere between that kind of potential. It could go to $20, maybe even $30, $36, and then die right back down like Rocket did. But we don't know. We don't know the potential of this true company, especially since they're offering dividends. And as we can see from the SEC, they posted that on January 20th, their special purpose acquisition will be meeting at 9 a.m. And this is the link you guys can use if you want to join the webcast. If you already have a, been a shareholder and they gave you a proxy to vote, you can watch everything live here because you are one of the early peoples to get that uh trade so make sure you guys you do also vote and you vote yes for the merger to go through if you want that or else expect it to die <laughs> because that's what's going to happen if the merger does not go through but all in all i think the merger will definitely go through and it will complete i have uh, pretty high hopes gores uh has been a very successful uh trade on the spacs this isn't just the first spac they've done laser already and that's a lidar uh, for cars and I think they'll do pretty well. I'll post every uh, all these articles that I have on uh, GHIV on my uh, description box. So make sure to check out that if you guys want more information about it. So anyways, this is my intake. I think from here we do have an uptrend coming up. It's already trading above the 20-day moving average and above the 20 days um, exponential moving average. Um, it already started crossing over on MACD. So you guys want might be want to be cautious about that if you're very into charts and technical kind of analysis histogram already started moving down but this is all really because of the riots that happened on congress i think that's why it had a major drop but as we can see it went right back into the box this there was forming a so we did have some technical errors uh i guess i got it fixed up uh anyway so this stock is trading right back in the box uh i don't think it broke the box it, it just broke it on this day because of the congress riot we had with trump and everything and now it's trading right back into the box and that's usually a bullish sign it, uh, because it, it pulled back and then right went right back up and that's usually a bullish sign as long as it moves up above the 20-day moving average and that's exactly what is great news um, I usually like to follow the 20-day moving average if I, I want to see if it's back in there, right? 
as long as it's trading above the 20 day moving average, it's pretty safe to say that this stock isn't going anywhere yet. That it's still bullish. Anyways, let's move on to some options if you guys are interested in that. All right, guys. So if you guys want to do any options, I only would recommend doing the February 19th, definitely not January 15th expiration because the merger is January 20th. It just doesn't make any logical sense to do anything before the merger day, right? So February 15th, 19th, sorry, should be the lowest date you should pick. Obviously, we're going to do some calls. We're going to buy some calls. And I would take the minimum risk here because we don't know what the potential, true potential of this company is. And I wouldn't do anything above the, below the $17.50 or the $20 uh, call option, right? These are the only two calls I would recommend. And it's going to be for a very short swing because um, merger is January 20th. And I might recommend you guys closing it maybe one or two days before January 20th and collecting your profits. Or if you want to run the risk, go ahead and hold it through the merger, you know, like as we saw from uh, GNOG, the LCA, Lancadia Holdings, one or two days, the stock just completely started crashing and dying and it hasn't been able to recover much. It's just trading around the $20 range, but this could be the same thing, right? The, you could watch out for that. That's why I'm saying maybe you might want to sell your, your calls one or two days before January 20th. And if you want to take that risk, go ahead. All we, all, obviously, all that risk and anything you're going to do is going to be up to you. Thanks again for watching my video. As always, make sure to smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so YouTube can alert you when my next video comes out. Also, feel free to add me on Instagram. I do pretty much post there daily. Any stocks that I do buy, I usually tend to post my buys and sells on Instagram. So check me there. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave a comment below. Let me know what other stocks you guys would like me to do a video on or what stocks you guys are buying. Or if you have a common question, I can try to help you out with that specific stock that you might have a question on. Also, don't forget to check out Webull with their four free stocks, one for just signing up and three more when we could deposit of $100 or more. And guys, also, First Trade gives out pretty good stocks. Check out the link for that one. And if you want another free stock, Robinhood gives out pre stocks, free stocks, sorry, as well. Thanks again for watching my video. And until next time, make money with Mike.